Welcome back to Manum Crossing New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling. Shall we see what's going on on Little Island of Vaughan Hollow today? Little Island? I don't think I said that one before. <laughs> or have I said it? I don't know. What do I, what do I usually say? Lovely? I don't know. Maybe I should write it down. Um, anyway, a bit of a later episode today because um, honestly I just procrastinated it to be honest. <laughs> I was too busy watching random YouTube clips of um, animes I've never seen. And then, you know, you go down a rabbit hole, you see, you, see, you see one clip and you're like, oh, what's this next one about? And you click it and you're like, oh, what's this about? And you, you know, sooner or later it's, it's um, 5pm and you're like, oh, wow, I haven't done anything today. But anyway. <laughs> Hello there, everyone. Right now in Vaughan Hollow, it's 5.17pm on Monday, April 19th, 2021. Nothing to really speak of today, so we'll just sort of go about our usual business. As per use, as, this, as the kids say, or whatever. I don't know, what, what's about, like, short YouTube clips or whatever? I mean, <laughs> they're enticing, I suppose. As soon as you see something, you know, it's only two minutes long, you get a little snippet or something of a, at its best moment, and you're like, wow. You sated, you've not sated my curiosity, in fact, you've only, you've only fed it even more, as Rach is uh, giving us probably more mushroom stuff. Sup, Prambler? I was wiping down my workout gear when I suddenly got the urge to lift my couch. I call it couch benching. Get it. Anyway, long story short, I found this under my couch. Want it? What is yours now? Muscul muscularly, yours, Rowan. Why are mushroom puns the best? Because they're very portobello. Okay. <laughs> what goes best on jacket potatoes? Button mushrooms. Ba 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 dam bum. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> so there's your daily instalment of mushroom puns, I suppose, from Rach. If I, is that going to be a recurring theme? I don't know. We'll find out. But <laughs> is it my current supply of mushrooms? I suppose. Mushrooms. Thank you very much, Rach. Um, it will add to the night for us. Do we have who's up? Is there? It is red. Ooh, we haven't had red for ages. It's been over a week or so. Yeah, no. Just uh, watching clips, even even if it's something like I've never seen before. Something about it is just, it's like addictive, I suppose, which it's probably meant to be. I mean, after the internet's been out for so long, people have probably done like analytical studies on, oh, why don't we go the actual proper way to read this time? Um, and what's the, the best way to get people to click on these videos and actually watch them, you know, like clickbait. Like, except for it's not really clickbait style because it's not like we're, they're baiting you of anything. It's not like um false advertising. It's it's actually what happens. It's just sort of like um they cut it off just before you get just so you get a little taste of what's going on and whatever you might be watching is whether it be a Gordon Ramsay clip or oh my god that's a huge statue. New Horizons or the art or whatever I know TV show Breaking Bad or something. <laughs> that's been over for quite a while, so I don't know if that's really got um things going on for it. This is one's fake. I think this one's real. This one, I don't know. So this one's real, sunflower, where's the sunflower? It's always real. Okay, so we've got two real ones. I don't know about a statue. The forged statue holds a book in his right hand while the genuine one does not. So this one's fake. So these two are real. Um, I'm gonna have a quick check our museum just to see if we've bought one of them already. Because we don't want to duplicates over here. No sorry, we want to be as efficient as possible. And even with maximum efficiency, it's still going to take us like two years to complete the, the museum collection. <laughs> Quite the while, isn't it? Anyway, um, what was I saying? Yeah, no, I mean, I feel like YouTube's sort of like, well, one, I'm lost in the spam bee forest. YouTube's just filled with all these like, not mini clips, but <laughs> that's a whole different thing. That's a video gaming, an old flash game site. Um, little clips and snippets, I suppose, of, um, well, actually, most of the time it's reality TV. I don't know if it's different in other countries, but I get recommended, like, on the front page of YouTube, like, so many, so many Gordon Ramsay clips from, like, I know, Kitchen Nightmares, I guess? What, what, why am I talking to you, Blavis? <laughs> I'm sorry, Blavis, I didn't mean to wake you. Um, from Hell's Kitchen or Kitchen Nightmares or that sort of thing. Like, I don't even know. It was, like, worst burger Gordon Ramsay's even tried. Food that made Gordon Ramsay actually finish his plate or something like that. And it's like, okay. <laughs> And while I like to try and sort of be counter to the whole clickbait um, nature of YouTube, I will say I'm, I'm only human. It still gets me. I'm, I'm still looking at it and be like, oh, I wonder what this is about. But, you know, I suppose my <laughs> counter to it nature, I'm just like, I can't click on it. I can't I can't concede my principles like that. Um, so it looks like we don't have either of them, from what I can tell, which is a bit problematic. Um, but it's okay, we'll, we'll buy the, the artichoke dude. Or maybe I'll get someone to buy the other one if I remember. <laughs> I say that every time. I'm like, oh, I'll just get someone 
over here and buy the other red painting. I, I just forget. <laughs> to be honest, as soon as as soon as my daily recording New Horizons um done for today, it's like it's gone from my memory. I forget. I'm just like look forward to the next day. You know, one one foot in front of the other, something like that. So uh, yeah, we'll buy Mr. Artichoke Man. I don't know what it's called or what it is, but it, this is the painting where it's like if you look at it upside down, it looks like a, a bowl of fruit. If you look at it the right way up, it's a man, I believe. Or maybe it's not that one. I don't know, hold on. Wait, let, let, let's find a picture of it again. And I know we're about to find a photo as we walk into here, but... Okay, this is not the bowl of fruit one, but he is made out of fruit. <laughs> what's, it, what's it called? Hold on, who's it by? Summer by Giuseppe Ar Ar Archimboldo. We've seen the, the forgery one of this one quite a few times. And I think we've seen the sunflowers actually quite a few times as well. So there you go. Purchased. Thank you, Red, for the genuine article. I don't know how you've managed to get it every single time, but I'm not going to question your black market ways. I just close that. We should really make a list of all the art we're missing, but I cannot be bothered. <laughs> it's, it's much easier just to do it, do it as it's seen to be done on the day. I don't think that sentence made sense now I think about it. Anyway, let's sort out these flowers. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I try to be, in my mind, I'm like, counter to clickbait. I'm like, I'm not going to support this. It's, it's not like, when, when it's truly clickbait, when it's like actually lying about what's going on, I'm just like, ugh. Obviously, that's not something you should support, but in a lot of the other times, it's not really clickbait. It's just, it's, it's what's going on, but it's just like exaggerated, I suppose. We, sh we uh, I mean, you can argue that's clickbait, but to me, it feels like it's in a different camp where it's like, it's, it's more like an, a super an overly enthusiastic reaction to perhaps a more mundane thing or whatever. Because no, you know, um, when it goes something like, oh, you won't believe what happened in this video, that's not technically false advertising, is it? When it's actually false advertising, when it's just like, whoa, <laughs> you won't believe what happens in like, a thumbnail, like clearly edited impossible screenshot or like something something gone wrong okay you know obviously yeah, i take a stand against that something sort of well take a stand is a bit of a strong way to put it it's more like um i suppose i disapprove wait this is a yellow hyacinth you gave me a yellow hyacinth do we have any customization kits we only got three let's go buy some more as we oh no hold on let's go find recipes first yeah let's go find recipes first and then we'll figure out what we're doing so obviously not media not raymond um could be vivian i don't think we've spoken to vivian in ages she might complain about that which is fair enough. But yeah, but I mean, these clips from reality TV shows, are, well, I've got to assume they're not clickbait. <laughs> In this case, anime. It was just like, um, it was just literally just a clip from the show. Or whatever. And it's like, um, the title kind of says basically what happens in it. It's not like, I can't really go against that. <laughs> I'm, I don't think I'm much of a contrarian, to be honest, but... <laughs> I don't know, I guess it just doesn't sit quite right with me. I, th I think it's just like, you know, that little bit inside your brain where it's sort of like, oh. <laughs> I always need to come out, not I always need to come out on top, but like, I can't be proven wrong on that sort of thing. Saying like, um, sticking st sticking to your guns, I suppose is how you might say it, but perhaps to a bad degree. Or being like, counter to the, the BuzzFeed sort of, oh, what, what, what we didn't catch right, et voila. Um, what can we replace it with? What do we say? No? Or we're questioning. Because apparently we're doing foreign languages, aren't they? Hmm. No? Was it? With a comma, apparently? Sure, why not? <laughs> no? 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 <laughs> no? <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, so... Uh, trying to counter... To the whole... Clickbait sort of nature of it. You know, sites like BuzzFeed and other... Clickbait YouTubers... Started promoting, but now, now, now it's going too far. Because now it's not like... Obviously, the reason we do it is because it ups engage engagement, but a lot of them like aren't clickbait in the end. It's just sort of using that sort of the schematic laid out, but not lying in the sense, and not even like bending the truth all that much. Like, uh, I'll take Veritasium um, as an example. New recipe? Because um, he made um, a video on his channel addressing the subject because, you know, un unsurprisingly, more of these like sensational titles. They get more views and, and you know if you're on youtube that's how you get your money you get your views and you get them pouring in that sort of thing um so from a financial business standpoint why wouldn't you do something like that 
and you can sort of balance it with not compromising your morals, not morals necessarily, but like, um, your stance on this sort of thing, I suppose, by phrasing it in such, not phrasing it in such a way, like, I don't want to make it sound like you're doing some, like, high-tech finagling to, like, bypass issue, it's not really, it's just kind of how it is, isn't it? <laughs> like, the one where he had, um, the ball, the balls on the lakes, and he was like, why are, the title was just like, why are there, like, five million of these balls on this lake or something, you know? That's not clickbait. He answers the question, and he talks about it in the video. In fact, it's very informative about that sort of thing. But it's just an enticing question in the first place to draw people in. I guess what I'm trying to say is it's not, it doesn't feel exploitive or something because it's actually fulfilling on the promise that um, they're establishing within their title where clickbait doesn't. Clickbait is just just to get the, the, your attention, get you to click on it, and it doesn't matter what you do afterwards, and you're re you've already counted as part of the, the engagement or something. Although I believe YouTube doesn't count views until someone's watched it for more than 30 seconds, I think. So, you know, if you only watch it for like five seconds, I guess that doesn't really count, but I don't know. You can't really get the answer that quickly. It just feels like, you know, gaming the system and all that sort of thing is just a strange thing to come out of it, but, you know, whenever, whenever anything's a business, that's sort of just what happens, isn't it? There's not really many ways about it. I think it's unfortunate, but I guess, you know, <laughs> it needs to keep running somewhere or another. I mean, obviously, not everyone's... <laughs> people aren't going to be particularly interested with uh, Animal Crossing and Day 400 or whatever. <laughs> with some random title. <laughs> Self-burn. Ooh, that's rare. I also did not pay attention to what you said, Jakey. That's fair enough, because I'm not doing it as a business, am I? <laughs> I've no incentive to try and make some sort of clickbaity style of video. I just, I, just, I just label it exactly as it is, almost. Well, to a certain extent, I guess I don't list every single one topic I cover in a video, but... <laughs> I feel like I talked about clickbait before. But this feels familiar to me now, I think about it. It's... It could be Bruce. Lily or Bruce. Uh, the only two left. Who we haven't checked on, I believe. Is that right? I don't think we checked on Flip either now, I think about it. But maybe Flip was out and about walking, I can't remember. Yeah, then, I mean, I suppose that's how it goes, isn't it? Money is a big incentive to... Do whatever you can to squeeze out more of it. Well, to a certain extent. It wasn't very about um, study either, like, what was it? It was something like, they had three, three groups. One who was paid more than what they expected. One who was paid a small amount. And one who was paid, one group who was paid, like, nothing. And the group who were paid the most, like, had no noticeable um, improvements compared to, or, like, didn't work any harder necessarily than the other two groups or something. I can't remember if that was a conclusion to the study or not. I might have remembered it wrong. Don't take my word for it, to be honest. Look it up for yourself. <laughs> As you should do with anything, you know? Don't take things at face value, necessarily. I mean, obviously there's a lot of things in the world you can't learn them all. So some things you do that just have to take on face value, but if you've got the opportunity to, why not, you know? Or if you do take it as face value, understand you're taking it as face value rather than something any deeper than that. It can be a unrefuted, no, not unrefuted, an unsubstantiated claim in your mind. But I don't know. I suppose you can take that to extreme and be like, oh, you can't really count it as something true until you've done the study yourself, which is, you know, obviously not what I meant. <laughs> but yet again, I'm arguing against a straw man in my own mind. So let's, um, get off that sort of dangerous habit. Anyway, the whole point was about these little snippets of clips. Of it is, because uh, I've talked about it was ad nauseum. Um, I tend to not watch, like, TV series or movies because I tend to not like having to <laughs> commit huge amounts of time to something. Yet again, I just commit my times to something else instead, so I'm not really sure if it solves anything. Um, I guess it, it's just hard to get me started being like, like some people just like love watch, binge watching things. I'm not one of those people, to be honest. I'm just like, oh, I'll, I'll consider watching it and be like, oh, this thing has like eight episodes in a season. Nah, that's too long. That's four hours of my time. What am I going to do with that? <laughs> but, um, so instead I just end up watching all these little snippet clips of things I'm interested in. Um, and the, the rare media property which does get me watching it, it's like, I don't know. A diamond never rough. So you put some more flowers down over here. Um, I don't know where I was going with this. <laughs> I don't know if I was going anywhere with it, to be honest. And because of that, I suppose that's maybe why the snippet, snippet clips that I see on YouTube are even more enticing. It's just like, ooh. Why would I watch a whole thing when I can watch about 20 of these different clips and then 
pieced together the story in some very fragmented way for myself. <laughs> is it the most optimal way to do optimal way to do things? No, absolutely not. Um, there's far better ways to engage with these sort of property media properties and get a much more fulfilling result from it. You know, such as watching it. <laughs> but I don't know. I guess I've got some mental block where I'm just like, ah, oh, that's so long, you know. But I suppose if you reframe it, you know, you spend a lot of time doing a lot of other things anyway. So why wouldn't you just spend that time doing something like this watching? I don't know. I, I guess it's the passiveness of just like taking in something like a movie or TV show often doesn't pique my interest as nearly as much as it does, should, or could. I don't know which word to really use there, so far be it. Use all of them. <laughs> Do I have anything to follow us that up on? No, not really. Not really at all. It's just, um, I guess an observation I've had about myself. I guess it's just comforting, isn't it? It's not like junk food for media consumption. Excuse me. My, my throat. Um, junk food for media consumptions. Which colour are we missing? We don't have a red one. Yellow one? Yellow one. Yeah, it's junk food for um, media consumption, isn't it? You just sort of, um, you get about a, a small dopamine or whatever, or intrigue or whatever, watching some small clip of something that you like, and then boom. Just like junk food, you got, you're satiated for a little bit, for a little while, but it cannot substantiate your entertainment forever. For eventually you run out of clips, and eventually there's nothing to do but watch the series itself. As you realise you have made a fatal error of knowing all the spoilers in advance. Well, I said it multiple times. I don't actually mind knowing spoilers in advance of things like this. I find when you know spoilers you tend to build up um, in your own head how it happens. And often the way it happens itself in the actual media property can be just as exciting and enticing to see the first time. I mean I guess optimally you would not see the spoilers. I guess we should rotate these because it turns out they're not actually symmetrical. Give a little bit of wiggleness to them. Just to make it a tad more interesting. Something like that? I don't know. Um, I'm going to put the DIY bench over here for now. Just because it's getting a bit of fill over there. We don't have quite the room for it anymore. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't know what went wrong. Um, We have like no room for Jacob's ladders. So I guess we'll start lining... The pathways with them? I don't really know. At this point I need to find some more direction on what to do in Animal Crossing. <laughs> or maybe I just, you know, fish every day. But what will happen when we catch all the fish that we need for CJ statues? I don't know. That's something for future me to figure out rather than me right now, to be honest. Let it be, let it be as it is. And we'll, you know, we'll just ride, ride a wave until we get there, in the end. Something like that. Okay, um... Still got ten minutes left, I guess we'll do some fishing. That's probably about it. As we tied ourselves over until the, the next event in Animal Crossing. What was there an event last time in April? In Animal Crossing? Oh, I guess it was the introduction of a uh, fishing tourney, wasn't it? So, hmm. Whether that really counts or not, um... As a particularly interesting event, it's up to you, I suppose, but to me, I suppose it leaves a bit to be desired. Let's get a new fishing rod. Um, I can't remember what fish we need to catch. I looked at that problem. Let's get the New Horizons wiki open again. And just for fun, open up YouTube and see if there's more of those dramatic clips. New Horizons fish. New Horizons fees, that's not what I meant. That's a very sketchy website that's been linked to me there. Yeah, look, Kitchen Nightmares, it's, it's always here. It's always on my front page. Mr. Beast is always here, but, you know, where, where, where else is new? <laughs> Turns out rich people spending money is very entertaining to watch. Um, not so bad. I also haven't watched some Mr. Beast videos myself. I think I'm catching Riverfish. From what it looks like, from ones we don't have. Koi. Riverfish, Koi. Um, snapping Turtle? I know that's much later. Plus, I think we already got one of those, don't we? Freshwater goby. Oh! Clifftop rivers, you're right. 
I forgot we've got cherry salmon chars and golden trouts throughout these next three months. I've had to catch three of them, my word. To get a statue, that's going to be rather difficult, but think of... Not the grandiose, the... What are they called? What's it called? The spectacle? That's not really right. When people see that we've got such a rare fish in a statue form. It's like, wow, you got three of them. Impressive. Or not. I know, because it kind of depends on your own viewpoint, doesn't it? <laughs> Where are you going, fish? Where'd you think you're going, fishy? Hey, I just caught you. This is crazy. No, wait. Hey. I just saw you, so let me catch you, here's my bait. So nibble maybe, <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to react to you biting, but here's my lure, so nibble maybe. <laughs> I don't know what this parody is. Well obviously it's Carly, Carly Rae Jepsen's Call Me Maybe, a hit song of whatever year it came out in. There's a koi. Actually, we, since we're here we should um see if we actually got a koi fish or not. It doesn't look like it. So it looks like we were right in that decision. Hello, Lily. Hello, Poppet. A last minute dinner plan. Why don't you make a Thai chili? Do frogs like chili? Probably not. You probably you probably like something cooler, you know, match your temp temperament. Not that's the thing I really read much into, but still. Um, what was I talking about? I know, video snippets. Like sometimes I, <laughs> there's a, one point like I, I can't remember when it, when it was I I just ended up watching so many clips of, is this cherry salmon? Wow, um so many clips of um an old TV kids show called Raven and I ended up watching like a whole season of it <laughs> that evening. Mind you, I watched it on like two times speed while I like, wasn't mashing the right button to skip for it. So really, I watched it on basically four times speed. <laughs> Even still. Definitely too much of a binge watcher. Maybe that's why I don't like watching TV series and movies. I'm scared, right? If I get stuck into it, I'm like, oh, that's the only thing I want to do for ages. That's not good, you know? It's good to be able to portion yourself. Watch one episode each day or something like that. It's just so tempting not to, you know? Or you're just like, ooh, it's a page turn. I want to see what happens next. Can't keep my eyes off of it. Something like that. And that's what these little video clip snippets are there for. To entice you in. Yeah, that happened, actually. This happened... Not today, because today I was watching stuff on Kaguya Summer, Love is War, Season 2. I've, seen, I've watched Season 1, I need to watch Season 2 at some point. And something called Quintessential Quintuplets, which I, I vaguely knew about and I watched some clips on it. I was like, oh, this, maybe this will be on the, the list of anime to watch at some point. By the way, that list of anime to watch is about 50 anime long. <laughs> uh, so, um, I don't really think that's... <laughs> so when I say possibly watch it someday, uh, probably in about 20 years time, maybe. At the rate I'm going at. Um, no, but... Uh, oh, what's it called? The, the food cooking anime. anime like, sh Shogeki something something. I watched a few clips of that. And... I think that's the perfect amount, you know? Just watching the clips of a show rather than actually watching it. Because, you know, from what I was watching a bit, I was like, I'm not sure this is actually my sort of show. But I do like these clips. Basically, just how over the top it is with him cooking. If you don't know what it is, it's basically an extraordinarily anime take on um, a cooking contest where... <laughs> It's just taken to the extreme, and all the food in it looks delicious. Whether it's feasible or even possible, in reality, is a whole different matter. Helen, Lily, stop judging me for my fishing abilities right now, please. You're putting pressure on me, and it's, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm cool under pressure. Watch me all you want, Lily. This is how you catch a koi. See? She's not even looking. She don't care. You can blame her. She's surrounded by fish all the time. There's nothing special catching a koi anymore to her. Anyway, what was I saying before I get, got so weirdly despondent? Um, this fish is not moving. It's just... I, you know, I've got to respect it. it. It's found its corner. It likes it. It's not interested in... Oh, now it is. Now it wants a bait. Hook, line, and stinker. Hook, line, and stinker. That's a Mario Party minigame. It's a black bass. What about for nothing? If it was a sign that was being like, hey, don't catch me. You don't need me. <laughs> that sounded a bit sad. <laughs> you don't need me. Go on without me. Um, I don't know. 
Maybe I'll bring this topic up again when I actually decide to click on one of these Gordon Ramsay kitchen nightmares <laughs> sort of videos. I just don't think they're to my tastes. Very, um, because Gordon Ramsay in America is always, he's always like really angry, which is why he's got such a reputation about him. Like, don't get me wrong, in UK, he's also angry from time to time, but he's, he's much more of a, from a critical eye rather than just sort of a, a shouting nightmare. <laughs> Unless, you know, maybe he's, maybe that's too harsh because, to be fair, I've not seen any of his stuff really. Apart from, like, whenever I need a recipe, I'll be like, oh, let's look at Gordon Ramsay, see what he's cooked for it, for anything except for a grilled cheese, I suppose. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, that, that sort of intense, angry emotions, not for me. I don't want to watch something like that. I don't want to watch things where people just get mad or things made them, that meant to make you angry. <laughs> I, I want to watch things that make me sad, you know? I'm weird like that. Hashtag quirky. No. <laughs> That's the thing, like, it was um, a statistical... Not survey, what's the word? Research, I suppose, into um, what emotions invoke more shares and stuff in social media, that sort of thing. I think CGP Grey did a video where I feel like um, and anger was, like, the number one one. If you see something that makes you angry, people are super likely to share it. Number two, I think, was happiness. When things that make you sad, people are even less likely to share it than something that makes them feel neutral. But no, I feel, I feel like I, I seek out these, like, melancholic moments. I'm, <laughs> I'm a vampire of sadness. I don't, does that make sense? Not really. It's also incorrect, by the way. I'm not a vampire of sadness. Uh, that's got some weird connotations. I'm, that sounds like I, I need to make people sad to survive, which is not really what I meant. I just tried to go for some amusing imagery. Maybe it paid off, maybe it didn't, I don't know. Yeah, because, you know, it's one thing to click on a video and be like, oh, this made me fan. <laughs> this made me funny. No, but this was funny. Like, I don't know, Parks and Rec or something, Office. But, no, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to watch it. I wanna, the things that really entice me is when I click on it, and it's like, whoa, this seems like a really important, pivotal moment in the show. And it's really sad and emotional and heartfelt. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I don't understand the context, but I can feel the raw emotion behind it. That's what gets me. You saw that? <laughs> I thought it was very much in your blind spot. You're the most perceptive fish I've ever met. And we'll never know who you are because you've swum away. Oh, but you're almost certainly a crawfish. Ugh, my throat feels so weird as well today. <laughs> anyway, what have I been up to today? Not really much. Um, I played some Kukiomi too. That's done. I need to start drawing the thumbnail art for Fez, which will be following up. I believe that's what I put to follow up. Yeah, Fez, because that's the only game in my puzzle directory, which I currently own, which can follow up. If you're wondering what else is in it, Little Nightmares 2, Talos Principle, that's been... Talos Principle and Chamber have been recommended so many times, I just don't own the games, <laughs> so... Which way? I think I actually own this game, Minute. I don't own this game, I think. Or maybe I do. Steven Sausage Roll. That one I'm not sure on. Oh, Papers, Please, actually. I, I put this on my list as a possible one. But the problem is with Papers, Please, I played it about halfway and I just haven't finished it. But I do own the game. So I want to leave it like I did with um, Oberdin. I want to leave it as late as possible to make sure I remember as little about it as possible when we come back to it. Because that's an annoying thing when it comes to a lot of these games. Um, if I play it too quickly after I watch someone play it, you know. It's not like I forget things. So I, I, I just tend to remember it, you know, it kind of spoils all the, the sort of plots and twists and that sort of thing. So that's on the list. What's coming after Chicken Please though? Ooh, maybe we'll leave that one as a surprise. Chicken Please isn't very close to being done. I think we're about less than halfway through right now, so <laughs> don't worry about that. Or if you don't like it, then I guess do, do worry about it. I don't really know. I don't know if we have enough tadpoles, so I'm going to assume we don't. <laughs> But yeah, then what am I going to do after this? I don't know. I probably do. Oh, no, I had done some programming today. I did forget about that. <laughs> That's what I did in the morning. I did some programming. I'm trying to be getting done in the morning, so then, you know, when I finally get bored, I just end up and end up surfing YouTube stuff. I can feel like I've been productive. But it used to be my drawing slot. Now I'm moving my drawing slot to, like, later in the evening. <laughs> and sometimes it just comes to the evening or afternoon. I'm just like, oh, I can't be bothered. <laughs> so I'm not drawing as much as I used to. But it's okay. Once I find a good balance of things. It'll be fine. And maybe in the future, it'll turn out that Animal Crossing videos will get shorter and shorter because there's not really much for me to do anymore. <laughs> Apart from decorate. Which even then, I'm not doing much of. 
So we don't need to be half an hour long, I think. I think 20 minutes could suffice, but uh, we'll go back when we see it when time starts becoming more of a premium, I suppose. Oh, apparently we didn't need a tadpole. There we go. So we've got a lot of fish ready for when CJ next visits. But for now, I suppose we'll round off this video here. I know. Anyone else watch random snippets of random TV shows and movies they've never seen before on YouTube? Just me? Probably not. <laughs> they wouldn't be so popular if it was just me. Anyway, if you have been watching, thank you very much. Then I'm Marcus New Horizons. I've been doing anything. Likes, comments, subscription, shares, all greatly appreciated. I think that's record time for how fast I said that one. Links down below. I hope we can see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye bye for now.